Hi, we are live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. I'd like to know where you're joining from. I'd like to know where you're joining from, your name and your location. I'd like to recognize you. Oh, you're welcome, Amani. You're joining from UK. Thank you. BC, thank you for joining from Australia. Thank you. Thank you, Dupe, for joining from Nigeria. Thank you. And uh, I just let, let's just dive in into today's session. And today's session is all about sales, how we have to work hard to ensure that we don't lose any more customers. My name is Sandra Uko. I'm a Maxwell Certified Leadership Coach, Speaker, and Trainer. I'm also an author of the book, Can Anything Hold You Back? And very soon I'll be launching my new book again, Challenges a Refiner. And also your sales expert of over 20 years. And before we dive into today, I'd love to get one another, get us to know one another. Let's get a queen set to one another. Let's share what uh, and share what you hope to learn from this class of today and um, from this class and any specific struggles or um, sales that you probably will be encountering. Here's a little bit about me. I'd already said I'm an author and also your sales expert. I have been in sales for like close to over 20 years. You know how time flies. And today I want to go into teach into the into trying to coach you, trying to tell you how you need to order in high esteem your customer because they're the reason why you're in business. And um, I'm off to the second slide. Welcome and congratulations on joining me. Thank you for joining me. Just like I'm saying, congratulations and welcome and joining me. You are valuable to me. You've I put extinct because without you, I won't be on this channel showing or telling you or trying to educate you or, or how you know you can get your customer. People want to spend their money and, and they want to spend their money with businesses that value them, you know. And um, so to take time to ask for feedback whenever possible, it's a great one. That's what you want. One way to do this is by scouting out what people are saying on your sites, your social media sites and Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, take this comment in stride and respond with maturity. Sometimes you might get some responses and that are not favorable. You have to overlook it and, you know, respond with a lot of maturity because it is not everyone that would like your business or like the services you render with a customer. And often I will tell you, take this comment in stride, respond with maturity, with a customer knowing that with this mindset, the customers are always right. You need to have that mindset. And if you don't already, please, you need to change your mindset. Considering sending out satisfaction survey, asking them how they fulfill your services, your services or your product or uh, whatever services you've rendered to them is. Take this extra mile, go this extra mile by ensuring that, you know, uh, you get feedbacks from them, hearing from your customer and knowing what they want in order to be able to satisfy them and even keep them keep them for as long as possible so that they can buy from you and, you know, rebuy and also refer you because they are your greatest tool in advertising what you do and telling all this. Encourage, I'm on this third slide, you need to encourage interaction and feedback, saying that you have to encourage feedbacks. Feedbacks. Say like stress, you know, you need to encourage feedback. Not everyone is going to love your product, as I earlier said. And um, I already said, you don't have to look at, you know, having the whole world liking your product or liking what you sell. So in order to find your people, it's your job to clearly define what the problem you are called out to solve. You need to find out what problem you, you are out there to solve and evaluate each potential client as your prospect could benefit from. What would they like? What are the offers they're looking out for? So that you'll be able to know and you'll be able to streamline who your customers should be. Think of this way. Starbucks is a very great company. They're successful in everything they do. And, but not everyone is ready or excited to pay $5 for a cup of coffee. People would rather pay for a dollar for a cup of coffee in a gas station or in a fast food joint. Focus on the feet. I'm on the fourth slide now. Focus on the feet. Focus on those who, are, who have the mindset of, you know, shopping with you. Focus on the feet. You know, everyone, I already, already said, everyone will not all like your business. Not everyone. And like I said, salespeople may often celebrate when they make a sale. 
but the customer only celebrates when they get result from whatever product or whatever services they got from you. So consider this from the perspective of an air stylist. Somebody walk into the store, uh, your shop, a customer sits on your set, on your chair, and waiting for you to, you know, do their hair. And their satisfaction would only dictate whether that customer would be a returning customer. So if they're not satisfied, you are sure that you've lost that customer. The customer will not be a returning customer. So you want to sell and ensure that you have customers who would repeat, who would have a repeat buy from you, who would return back to doing business with you. I move to the fifth slide. Define what success means to you. Everyone has, you know, already I said success. What is success to you? You need to define it in order for you to know. keep your customers happy. Might be your own success part. And I want to encourage you that you need to get your customers to be happy by following up on them, finding out what services or what they purchase from you if they love the product and such that you want them to be a returning customer. You want them to be satisfied and you want them to be able to give a mouth service by referring you to others. You have probably received a text or an email from a company before earlier asking you for feedback or regularly asking for feedback on your experience in doing business or the services that was rendered to you. This is because reaching out to customers regularly, we keep your company, or, you know, name on the top of their mind and show them that you care about their experience and their opinion. And so by so doing, such customers feel highly, you know, valued and they want to do business with you. And you're not only doing that, you're only also putting your name at the top of their mind such that when they think of any, any company to do business with, your business come to mind. Six slides. You need to follow up your customers. Customers like to be followed. They want to be cared for. They want to be valued. Social media is a fantastic tool for businesses in several ways it is. First of all, you don't want to be out of business because a lot of things happened in the past few years. The COVID and a lot. And a lot of business and even churches, business that you wouldn't even expect to be online. Every business today is online. Churches are online. And you don't want to be left behind. So for your business, if you're not online now, you are losing out. For your business to be global and for you to reach a global and a larger market, then you need to go online. Social media is a fantastic tool, I earlier said, for business in several ways. So first of all, offer, it offers you opportunity to engage with customers by answering questions, providing information. Secondly, it's your chance to build trust by giving your brand a voice that people can relate to. And lastly, I can guarantee you that if you, if someone is hearing about your business or company for the first time, the first thing that they will do is type your name into a search engine to check how how um, to check how you're doing, to check if you're online, if you have an online pre presence, or maybe you have an, a, a website. Along with your website, they try to want to read reviews. They want to get reviews. What are people saying about your business? What are people saying what um, that should come? And that should come up in your Instagram page, your Facebook page. And if you don't have either, it is not too late. You can start that. It can only make your business, if you don't have that, it can only make them feel your business is very lazy, you're irrelevant, and sincerely, you want to be you want to be in the face of people. How many of you have a Facebook page? Should I ask that question? How many of you have an Instagram page? What are you posting? Are you doing business with your social media? You ought to be doing business rather than just going there to, you know, have fun, show your pictures. And how do you update? You must be regular. You must update regularly. I think, I think, um, one of the programs I attended, I think uh, the Maxwell Leadership Program, there was a, an, a scenario, a company wanted to give a business to, to, uh, to a particular customer. And before they do, they have several customers, several prospect uh, uh, companies that have applied that they want to do business with. And they found out that all the companies seem to be skewed up. So in order for them to be able to, you know, streamline and know which customer or we know which uh, clients or company to give the business to, they went online. We found that that company A had not been regular on social media, but company B that has the same strength with A has often posted new update pictures and improve, improvement reviews, testimonial about their business. Guess who got the business? B got the business because B has been consistent. B has often been on online. B has often, you know, come back to, you know, to respond to people's comments, 
likes, just to follow up and to ensure their customers. And finally, this is one important thing. Americans um, uh, tell an average of 15 people about a poor business experience, but only pass on a good experience to an average of 11. And that's why I said it is costly when you lose a customer. You don't want to have one bad customer. One bad customer is equal to 20 good customer. Just like Ellie said, I earlier said, because bad messages and bad news move faster than good news. So my nice slide, make use of social media. Make use of your social media well. Make sure you're making money from your social media. You're selling your product. You're reaching out to a larger audience. People know that when it comes to business, issues comes up and things can go wrong because you are not perfect. As humans, you're not perfect. And even internet machines can break down. And so people want you, or most people are willing to look past this as long as companies take the time to work with them and resolve whatever the issues are as at best. When problems come or arise, be sure that your employees are trained to speak to your customers with understanding and sympathy and not, you know, edgy and harsh or, you know, non-mannered. Whenever possible, address issues in person. Over the or over the phone, because even with digital options like chat or email, people like to speak with another person. They want to speak with the customer service. They want to have a feel of a person, not just a, you know, you know, um, chats by robots, especially when they are frustrated. Today's challenge is to share a time when your problem, your business, you know, encountered a frustrated customer. How did you undo it? What was the outcome? So a lot of times you need to be patient because sometimes you get edgy because the way the customer speaks to you, you overlook that. And I also want you to have this mindset that customers are always right. So whatever the issues, try and calm down and see how you can solve the problem or solve the issues and take responsibility. Do not shift the blame to your customers. And the next slide, remember customer service is everything. For you to be in business, customers are king. They are the reason why you are in business and you don't want to lose them. And the reason why you are in the market, why you're on social media, your brand is your reputation. Your reputation is everything. So you've got to keep a good reputation about your company. So one of the worst things you can do as a company is to shift blame back to customer. I earlier said that, do not shift blame. Take responsibility. Be mature to respond to comment or negative comments that do not, you know, you know, do not go well with you. Try to, you know, take responsibility altogether. And if your customer had a bad experience with your company, acknowledge the fact that your business played a role in causing that frustration for your customers and, and own up to anything you are done, you, you have done wrong. You know, it is not the time to play a blame game or shift the blame or importantly, apologize. This will let the customer see you as uh, you know, as a as 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 a person to do wanting to do business with, and they are willing to call that you're willing to correct your faulty issues and prevent future mistakes. Such a client or a prospect will want to come back to do business with you, knowing that oftentimes you take responsibility for whatever challenges, and you are there to walk them through the problem and help them get to the end with great satisfaction. Offer a sympathetic ear and help problem. Help solve their problem. Help problem. I earlier said it. Help problem solve or solve their problem. So whatever way you need to have a sympathetic care, because this time around you've you have had an exchange. You have provided service or product, and they've given you their at, at end uh, money. And so this time around, they want to be able to get satisfaction and great result for whatever product or services you have rendered to them. Research shows that. Uh, con uh, consumers expect a response to, you know, in uh, for their problems or whatever issues they have in 24 hours or less than. So if your company takes too long to respond to their questions, the dilemma, compliment, you will come off like a lazy or an in inefficient company. So let's, so set time aside each day to address customer calls, emails, social media inquiries, it's um, what it's what it. Today's challenge is to comment. Today's a class or webinar, or whatever you call it, uh, is to you know to comment, message, or research out 
to any business, how we can do business better. Even something as simple as, you know, making inquiry about the hours that um, uh, that you're going to be open. See how long it takes to, you know, receive a response. Share your findings all over with your group. It's a good time to, you know, find out which works for them. How long would would you would you be available? How long is your business? And how often are you often available? Do you work from eight to five, or do you work with four hours? Do you have help desk that will be there to solve whatever problem or issues they have? They want to know all this in order that so that when they have issues that they cannot wait within the twenty four hours max for you to reach out to them, they want to be able to chat and see if they can help themselves solve whatever situations they are facing. Take responsibility, as Helia said, for your actions. This might sound obvious or silly, but it's a small, small thing that many companies don't do. You understand? Customers like to feel appreciated, especially if they just they, they just spent their money. You know, as Helia said, I said they had earned money, so they want to get results, they want to get benefit. So whether you just saw someone and eyes tea or someone came into your boutique just to browse and admire and do window shopping often tell them thank you for stopping by or stopping in to check a customer that did not shop with you today or did not do business with you today might in the future do tomorrow or even refer more people to you even to refer more people to you and even if they don't you let it be they will always see the subject line and associate in their minds that your company values customers and your the company appreciates customers. So I want to thank you that yeah, you often would want to say thank you to your customers. You want to leave, you want, and you want to also respond to whatever. I mean, the next slide, you want to respond to them as soon as possible. Show off your awesome customer service, you know, by highlighting other customers experience did someone come to your restaurant or your boutique to, uh, to celebrate their birthday treat them like a king give them a gift snap a picture with them post them on social media facebook with their consent you need to get a consent because you don't want to post people's picture on facebook without a consent that could lead you into something else and have you been able to you know raise awareness you know such that you give them a gift, appreciate them for even stopping by or using your restaurant or stopping by to, you know, do business with you. And okay, so, and the next slide says, say thank you to them. It's anywhere five to five to 25 times more expensive to acquire a new customer. So you do not want to lose your customer. So people appreciate when you say those lead to appreciation, those magic words of thank you for coming in today. Thank you for doing business. And even if the customer did not do a business with you, maybe did a window shopping, say thank you. Those little comments, you know, go a long way. And that's why I said it is more expensive to get customers. So anywhere, five to 25 times more expensive to acquire a new customer than to keep them, keep a current one. So treat your customers right and, and you know, and treat your loyal customers well. There's some customers that have been doing business with you in the past few years. Treat them right such that they want to come back to do business with you. Make them feel good that, you know, you appreciate them and you appreciate their feedback. But you, you can also reward them with gifts by giving them, you know, some kind of discounts. You know, you want to give them some discounts. You want to appreciate them. You want to give them gifts. You want to do some promos. You want to, you know, either, you know, either a party or a, you want to take them out or you want maybe you call them for end of year party, send them gifts, appreciate them on their birthdays or wedding anniversaries and um, reward your customers. You might either give them a loyalty card or, you know, something extra for for, for for them being loyal, for, you know, for having such customers who are consistent, coming over, you know, rebuying and having a repeat buy from you. Listen up, I earlier said, you have to listen up to whatever comments. That's my next slide. Listen up. They love to hear that you listen to them. When customers share their story with you, even if it's not positive, they 
and uh, and they're not and they're insulting you they're actually trying to hear you and they want you to receive them in good stride they're actually teaching you how to make your product or service better just see that whatever comments whatever side comments whether good or bad no matter how it sounds it might be positive it might be negative this will help you to, you know, make your product or your services better. In other words, even if you are giving feedback or criticisms that isn't necessary or constructive, tell yourself that I'm getting better. This will make my business get better. See the information as something that will make you get better. And keep an eye on company churn. You want to find out how your customers are doing. And you want to make sure you're retaining them. That's the next slide ensure you keep customer company churn low you want to be sure that you don't want to lose more customers than you're getting so company churn is calculated by the number of customers who leave your company during a given period of time in other words the churn rate shows how your business is doing with keeping customers by your uh, keep, keep, keeping customers by your side find a way to keep up not just individual sales, but sales by each individual. Many companies do this by tracking the email address or phone numbers of customers. This way, they can you can track how often each customer comes to buy from you, how often the customers buy, and when the, the, when the business is winning, when you're losing customers, you get to know through that means. You made it true. I want to thank you. Um, this is a, this is the next slide. I want to thank you for staying put. I don't know if this is your first time of being on this show or this channel. I want to say thank you for staying true with me. I also want to encourage you. Please kindly like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can often get more updates on me on my leadership uh, channel or my sales channel. Congratulations, you have made it through with me to the end of this seminar. I want to say pat your back. That's my thank you to you, Pat, you're about to say. Thank you for staying true. And I hope that our time together in this class has allowed you to brainstorm new ideas for improving your customer services and how I would love to get your feedbacks, how and how you want me to help you, how you want me to help guide you. I want to say thank you again and do have a blessed day. Thank you until we meet in my next episode. Bye.